Moldova's Prime Minister has resigned and the government has collapsed. The pro-Western government resigned after a turbulent 18 months in power, marked by economic turmoil and spillover effects of the Ukraine war. Shortly before the Prime Minister, Natalia Gavrilita, stepped down, the government said a Russian missile violated Moldovan airspace. Russia's envoy was summoned to protest the airspace violation. Moscow has troops in Moldova's breakaway region. In Transnistria, Russia has bristled at the possibility of the former Soviet Republic joining the EU. On Thursday, the country's intelligence service confirmed Ukrainian allegations that Russia has acted to destabilize Moldova. The former Soviet Republic of 2.5 million has suffered from soaring inflation and was strained last year by an influx of Ukrainian refugees. It has also suffered power cuts following Russian air attacks on Ukrainian energy infrastructure. Now, dependence on Russian gas is another issue. The steep price increases, particularly for Russian gas, led to street protests last year. The president, Maya Sandu, accepted Gavrilita's decision. However, she has given no sign of abandoning her pro-Western policies, including seeking European Union accession. Last year, in a diplomatic triumph for President Sandu, the EU leaders accepted Moldova as a membership candidate. The government had been mapping out reforms to accelerate accession to the 27-nation bloc and working on diversifying its energy supply. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.